Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, the revelation for me tonight, the most surprising part of the night was Sean Porter. We'll deal with Sean Porter in a different video. Simply put, the foot speed was dazzling. Right? I did not expect Porter to be able to move in like that. Also, the pacing was brilliant. To the Sean Porter people, this was your night. Right? Your guy, in my opinion, is a major threat to anybody at 147 pounds. But let's talk about the scoring in the Hopkins fight. That's the reason for this video right after the fight took place. Now, I know the third judge is going to be ripped in the press. Right? Hopkins won the fight. To the gamblers who watch my pre-fight video, understand the over-delivered. Right? You were hedged on the play right but here's what I want you to consider because I know this judge is gonna be ripped as I said I myself had Hopkins winning the fight but understand on Twitter as the fight was going on there is one of the better youtubers who posts scores during fights boxing socialists a guy who knows boxing and as the fight progressed, he was posting his scores. And understand, he had Shumanov ahead going into the middle rounds. Let me point out, I was scoring the fight. Now, I've posted the opening to this fight on my channel page. Give it a look. Hopkins is a dominant fighter, but he's not high volume he starts slow on my scorecard I can tell you I gave Babu Truman off the first round I gave Babu Truman off the second round I gave Babu Truman off and I know it's controversial I actually have that in my notes but I gave Babu Truman off the third round Three rounds to none with nine left. Right? I also gave Babu Truman off the sixth round. The point I'm making is simply as you watch the fight, understand that what Hopkins does that's so effective is he's an excellent counter puncher. He's throwing a counter right hand and it's hitting with regularity. But he's the one being stalked in the ring. Shumanoff is the guy who is backing Hopkins up. Right? To set up the counter, Hopkins isn't throwing a lot of punches. Shumanoff makes a wise decision. As he gets close to Hopkins, he doesn't throw a jab. So Hopkins wasn't able to land the counters off the jab that he usually lands. Now, Hopkins' mastery eventually takes over in the fight. But I have to be blunt with you. Right? A fighter on his front foot who's trying to create the action, who's not getting hit with anything major, who's not getting hit with more than he's dealing. Right? That fighter, especially early in a Bernard Hopkins fight, is going to bank some rounds right the controversial scorecard had Hopkins winning seven rounds I didn't see that excuse me not Hopkins Babel Trumanoff winning seven rounds I didn't see that right and certainly there's a 10-8 round in there fair enough but I thought the scores on Showtime were too wide 
the judges themselves thought the scores on Showtime were too wide. Compare and contrast Steve Farhood's scorecard, Al Bernstein's scorecard, with the actual judges' scorecards. Then what I want you to do is to actually sit down and watch the early rounds. So those of you who believe Hopkins took the first two rounds, tell us why. Right? The point is, Shumanoff is on his front foot. It's a masterful performance by Hopkins. Make no mistake about it. Right? Hopkins dampens Shumanoff's volume, slows him down. Is landing counter rights, then later is even throwing in counter lefts. Right? But the counter right is masterful. But this is the risk in terms of the scoring that low volume counter punchers take when they start slow and are on their back foot right if it's a slow fight and not a lot is landing right then the guy who looks like he's backing up the other one the guy who is verbal after his punches, understand, Shumanov lets out an audible sound. He goes, huh, huh, when he's throwing a punch. Right? The visual is bad for the guy who's backing up while somebody else is coming forward and going, ha, ha, throwing punches and isn't being outpunched. Right? Maybe he's being out boxed. Here, Shumanov gets undressed the second half of the fight. Right? My scorecard had Shumanov winning. But, the fight was closer. Right? The fight was closer than the Showtime scorecards. Right? When you see a fight and you're not scoring the fight, the fight can actually look more convincing than it is when you're scoring the fight and you realize that during the first 25% of the fight, the first three rounds, not a lot happened, right? Bernard is standing back, figuring out the angles, right? Seeing the pacing, seeing what happens when he backs up and Shumanov comes toward him. He's not throwing a lot of punches. Right? I personally have been surprised for some time that many opponents don't jump out and try to jump on Hopkins in those first two rounds. Understand the Jermaine Taylor fights are first half heavy. Right, Taylor comes out, is throwing a jab early. Right Now Hopkins feels he was robbed in both fights. But if you look at both fights, Hopkins starts slow in both fights. This is the first time Hopkins fought Babel Trumanoff. You remember the first time he fought Jean Pascal? He started slow there too. He actually couldn't figure out the angles early. Gets dropped, I believe, a couple times early in that first fight. So all I'm asking is simply this. In recognition of the fact that the judge who scored the fight for Shumanov has more than two decades worth of experience has been a judge for more than two decades worth, excuse me, for more than two dozen championship fights, right? Research his background, right? Just understand that while I will come online here and I will criticize judges, longtime subscribers know that I have criticized scorecards in the past. Here, let me say that while I disagree with the scorecard, Understand that as the fight unfolded and I was scoring the fight myself, I gave Schumann off the first three rounds. Yes, he gets undressed, but the idea of Schumann off winning five rounds in this fight isn't that far-fetched. Hopkins is landing at a much higher percentage than Schumann off, right? But he's not winning the fight as convincingly as let's say Gabriel Campillo in my opinion 
won his rematch against Shumanov. That's a fight I talk about in the pre-fight video, right? Hopkins isn't coming in with a lot of sustained volume. He's 49, he's pacing himself. When you're pacing yourself on your back foot and you're just landing strategic counters, right? Understand, the scoring is going to be closer than most people expect, right? Hopkins won the fight. I thought it was masterful. I thought parts of the fight are boxing at its best, right? I appreciate a good straight counter right hand. I appreciate a guy who's turning, you know, um, preventing his opponent from getting an angle on him. I appreciate a guy who's comfortable in the corner of the ring. Hopkins showed us all of that in this fight. He showed us a multiplicity of skills. But before you criticize the scoring in a Hopkins fight, please watch the first three rounds of the fight. If you yourself gave Babu Chumanoff the first two rounds of the fight, just think about it, the first two rounds of the fight, that means that in the other ten rounds, if Babu Chumanoff wins 30% of the other ten rounds, then he would have won five rounds. If you gave Babu Chumanoff the first three rounds, understand that with nine rounds to go, if Hopkins won seven of the nine and Shumanoff won two rounds, he would have won five rounds. Right? Food for thought. So give it a look. Let me also say too, Hopkins wants to unify the titles. I consider the harder opponent for him to be Sergei Kovalev, not Adonis Stevenson. Right, Stevenson's a southpaw. Stevenson hits awfully hard with his left hand. Right? But I don't believe he's two handed like Kovalev. Right? And Kovalev is the kind of guy who, you know, isn't going to just follow Hopkins around the ring like Babu Shumanov did. I think he's going to be a little bit more cagier. Right, so let's uh, let's look forward to these fights because Hopkins is trying to make history. I th I thought personally thought the winner of this fight would be very close to unifying the light heavyweight championship. Right, I believe Hopkins is going to be competitive against Adonis Stevenson in a way that's going to surprise all of us. Right, just compare and contrast their fights against. Tavares Cloud. Anyway, let me hear from you on your scoring of the fight. I understand that most people, certainly most on Twitter, had the fight basically 116-111. Um, I understand that completely. But, tell me, as you look at the video of the first few rounds of the fight, did you give Bernard Hopkins the first or second rounds? Right? In terms of ring generalship, who looked better? Who was stalking who in those first two rounds? Right? Just food for thought. Give it a look. Hopkins takes over the fight in the fourth round. Right? But I cannot say that Hopkins pitched a shutout from the fourth round on. Right? So, I saw boxing socialists scoring before I heard the scoring in this fight, right? Because he was posting his scoring round after round. I believe he gave Shumanoff the first four rounds of the fight before giving Hopkins the fifth. I know that sounds odd. I'm telling you, in real time, it was plausible. Okay, so I'm curious to get your scoring on the Bernard Hopkins fight. I believe he won but I don't believe the scores were as wide as Showtime was suggesting. Understand too, Showtime scoring is wider than the judges scoring. Right? Had that third judge given the fight to Hopkins by a round, I don't think 
we would have the same outrage that we're having right now because in my opinion that scoring even though I thought Hopkins looked great right even though I myself thought Hopkins dominated portions of the later part of the fight right I think those watching the fight understand that just the way he starts he gave away at least the first two rounds right the scoring doesn't start in round four let me hear from you thanks for stopping by